You're listening to The Healing Hour on TLC FM with Di Ellis. There is nothing more important than the health of our children and our loved ones and, of course, ourselves. You know you're successful when you become redundant. In other words, you know, when you, a patient no longer needs you, yes. then you know you've done a good job. Like you say, there is a crisis in, with chronic health in Australia. I'm talking to people every day and it's heartbreaking to hear the, the really serious uh, chronic health problems that so many people have. So where would I be without all these wonderful practitioners? I would not be here today. I would be six foot under and my children wouldn't have a mother. And that's why I'm so passionate about sharing the treatments that have helped me so much and they are so simple. But so effective at relieving depression, anxiety and suicidal feelings. Yeah, Di mentioned a thing called MTHFR. What, what's that other word you call? <laughs> I better not say yeah. that. <laughs> what was amazing was the, the energy or the emotions, the connections, the patterns that have come down through generations that are within us. Yes. That's the key that really... Because it was my grandfather's choice that my mother couldn't keep me. And so this anger, this abandonment was so deeply seated within my cells and I didn't want to forgive him. But I knew I had to. It was the cancer on my back that made me go within myself and say, OK, I have to forgive him. Um, yeah. It can suddenly transform into the most incredible love that people feel. They suddenly That's feel right. connected and open and, and the fears that just disappear. That's exactly right. It's all about bringing all of the parts of ourselves back to wholeness mm. and back to loving harmony. Yes. Because where, there's no, where there is conflict, there is degeneration. Mm. Where there's love, and harmony in the body, that's when we regenerate and that's when we heal. Yes, yeah. I just saw this little boy in front of me and he was being chastised again. He was being yelled at and that was it. He's just, he just shut, shut off and his spirit was broken. And I saw this little boy and all I wanted to do was hold him. And I realised this little boy, the boy that was my grandfather and he was the part of me that I hated that I wanted to, to him to die. I wanted that part of me that had been abandoned to die. But that was actually, uh, suddenly I wanted to hold this little boy and love him. And that was the part of me that I had wanted to die. And I suddenly realized that I love him and I want to nurture him. And this poor little boy whose spirit's been broken, that's a part of me, that part of my spirit that had been broken. To understand it, it's not going through and talking about the problem and That's right. trying to work out a way to manage the problem in your mind yes. or to manage the feelings that you have in your body. It's yeah. actually, it's a quantum, it really is like a quantum physics change it is. that happens. That's I right. I mean, six years ago I nearly died and I never thought that my body would be able to heal as well as it has done. And, and it, it's incredible how much heal itself healing ability we have. You have a chance. It's not just Lyme disease. There are so many illnesses that people have that a simple remedy or a treatment or a tooth extraction could so easily help and fix. And so we really need need to get it out there. And um, yeah, everyone here is helping me to do that. So thank you.